if you figured this out about me by now, but I like numbers, I like streaks, and I got a couple of them for you to start off the weather cast tonight. Eight days in a row of 90 degrees or hotter. That is not our longest streak yet. The longest streak is 10 days. We did that in early July, but this one might not end until we're around 13 or 14, so that's not nice. This is, we are getting closer to autumn. I don't have any autumn like temperatures, mind you, but we're just about halfway through summer, meaning there are 50 days until September 22nd, which is the first day of fall this year. Our first Thursday of August looks like this. Not going to feel or look all that different than what we had today. That means we start off in the low 70s, a lot of sunshine, so make sure you're protecting yourself if you're going to be outside. We'll be close to 90 by lunchtime on our way to a high of 94, which again is right about where we were today. So again, it's not going to feel any different. As for rain chances, boy, it's small again, 10 or 20 percent. That's about what we got today. We're going to do it again tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening, as our winds will be coming out of the south. If you are tired of this summer, I might send you to the mountains because it's usually cooler up there. And tonight's super sunset is from up there. And I mean, it's way up in the mountains. This is from Charlotte, who is in Hayesville, North Carolina. Beautiful shot right through the trees, looking over the mountains. Love that. Hayesville is about as far west in the state as you can go. And it's a stone's throw from northern Georgia. Uh, Clay County, I think, is where it is. And I'll put this uh, picture on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. I'm at Weather West. I'll do that right after the weather cast is over here. So back to the maps we go. And you look at the map, you're like, ooh, that cold front. Is that ours? No, that one's not. But we do have another one that's going to get close next week. So for the rest of this week, high pressure is going to continue to be in control, sending us that hot, humid, southerly flow and keeping most of the rain away. One bright note about today is our dew point temperature actually got a little lower. You didn't notice it. But instead of being up here in the mid and low 70s in the steamy zone, it did sneak down into the upper 60s. It's going to go right back into the steamy zone tomorrow, so humidity stays high. That comes into play when we're talking heat index. While it's not going to be the hottest temperatures of the year, or even hot enough for a heat advisory, our temperature and heat index comparison the next few days has us feeling like 102 tomorrow, 100 Friday, and then a mere 99 on Saturday. I mean, listen, we can handle that after what we've already lived through this summer. And as for rain to maybe brief, briefly cool us down, there's just not a lot out there tomorrow. Again, the morning starts dry. We'll zoom through until lunchtime. We're dry here, but I want to point out what's going on to our south. You see those showers and storms developing kind of part of the sea breeze. They're going to drift in our direction. So this is 3, 4 o'clock, a couple of isolated specks of green. That's appropriate for what we've had, and that's what I've been calling them the last few days. But then they kind of fizzle out as we get into the evening hour. So if you blink, you might miss it. So again, a 10 or 20 percent chance of rain tomorrow. That does go up starting Friday and for the weekend. So from 20 percent tomorrow, it's 30 percent Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. By no means a washout, but it's our best chance in the near term. The long term, as we look at your extended forecast, that cold front, there it is next Wednesday. It'll drop our temperatures a little bit, but it will enhance our rain chances to 40% as we get into next Wednesday and Thursday. So the streak will eventually come to an end. I mean, we're not going to be in the 90s forever, even though it at this point there kind of feels it like it. It sort of does feel like it, but I'm ready for maybe to cool off just a bit. I don't hate hot temperatures, but I'm looking forward to fall. I think a lot of us might use that word hate at this point <laughs> in the year. No, it's a bad word. All right. Strongly dislike? Strongly dislike.